Hello everyone, let's look at this function here. We want to find the derivative of this function. And when you look at this function, you can see that it's x to the fifth times this integral. And so that's a product. And it's a product of two functions. And so the first function that we have is x to the fifth. And then the second function that we have is this integral here. So this function is defined in the form of an integral. So let me just highlight it in a different color. Okay, so as you can see that that's a product of two functions. And when we want to differentiate, we need to use the product rule for differentiation. But before we actually go into differentiating the whole function, we need to rewrite this integral so that it's in the right form that we can apply the uh, FTC on. Okay, so how do we do that? First, we are going to rewrite the function. So we are not taking the derivative. We're basically just changing the look of the function here. So first, we are just going to copy x to the fifth. And this is just that one. And then it's product, right? And then times what? Times this one. And according to the FTC, we need to make sure that this integrand right here is continuous. And it is, right? As you can see here, um, why is it continuous? If you look at this rational function here, there is nothing that we plug into the T that will cause problems. So um, it's actually continuous everywhere. And so because of that, then this integral function right here, it's going to be continuous and differentiable. And so in that case, we can actually apply the FTC part one to differentiate this function. Okay, um, but we also need to uh, make sure that the variable is in the upper limit and then uh, that's not the case right here. So we need to switch them. To switch them, it's actually quite simple. All we need to do is to negate the integral. That means we put a minus sign in front of the integral and then we are going to switch the limits. So now the one goes to the uh, lower limit and then the square root of x is now in the upper limit. And I'm just going to highlight the square root of x here because that's being considered as the inner function of this function. Okay, so the whole outer function is that integral right here. Then we have t to the fourth plus one and then dt. And then uh, because we have two of those operations stacked together, it will be a good idea to put a pair of brackets around this integral. So now you can see that that's the product of two functions. Okay, so now it, it is in the right form. We can start taking the derivative of this whole function here. And then don't forget that we got to apply the product rule. So f prime is going to be what? It's going to be the derivative of the first function, but we do not touch the second function. So we're just going to copy the second function here, and then we need to differentiate this blue function here. So um, to copy down this function, we are going to write down the minus sign, right? So we just put down the minus sign. And then now we can start differentiating this. I will put this integral later. I just put down the minus sign first because I usually will just keep all the uh, constant multiples in the front, right? Just keep all the numbers, constants in the front. And then what about this thing right here when we differentiate? This is what, this is going to give you um, five X to the fourth, right? We just use the power rule. Okay, and then we are, going to just copy this integral right here, right? We already put down the minus sign, so we don't need to worry about this minus sign anymore. Just copy this integral, which would give you the integral from one to the square root of X. And then we have that T square. And then we get T to the fourth plus one and then times dt. Okay, so that's uh, the first term for the product rule. And then I should really just indicate right here that this phi x to the fourth is actually just the derivative of x to the fifth with respect to x. Okay, and that one, the minus sign including this integral is really just copying from here. Okay, now, the second turn is when you 
copy down the first function. So I'm just going to copy down x to the fifth. And then I'm going to differentiate this function using the FTC. And how do I differentiate this function? I still got to put the minus sign right there. So minus sign doesn't really change, right? Get the minus sign here. And then I'm going to get this function when I take the derivative of this integral. I'm just going to get this integrand here with this inner function plugged into all the t values that we get. So we are going to get, um, let's just write on the form. So we are going to get this integrand function, and then we are going to change all the t's into the blanks. So we get blank square, okay, that's the numerator. And then in the den denominator, we are going to get t to the fourth. So it would be blank to the fourth plus one. And then what do we plug inside the, uh, the blanks? We are going to plug this square root of x inside the blanks. So we are going to get square root of x and then square root of x right here. But that's not finished yet because we have an inner function. And so after we finish differentiating the outer function, we need to multiply by the derivative of the inner function. That's due to the chain rule. So we got to differentiate the square root of x with respect to x. So that's going to give us what? It's going to give us 1 over 2, x to the negative 1 over 2. And then, of course, we can still keep the bracket right here just to separate that minus sign with this uh, multiplication operation here. OK, so this thing here is the derivative. So this thing right here, it's the derivative of this integral. Yeah, so it's the derivative of this negative integral of one, over, 1 to the square root of x and then t squared over t to the fourth plus 1 and then dt. Yeah, so this, everything that's inside the pair of brackets would be the derivative of this thing. And then the rest is really just simplifying. I think I need more space right now, so I'm just going to move this thing here. Let's move it up here. And then I'm just going to redraw the arrow so that I have I free up my space right here. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, now um, let's simplify this expression right here. There was nothing to simplify here. So we are going to get what? We are going to get negative five x to the fourth, right? And then times the the integral of the function t squared over t to the fourth. t to the 4 plus 1 and then dt. Okay, now we got to simplify this one here. So there was a minus sign and then it's really because of that minus sign right here. And then let's look at all the coefficients that we can have. Um, well, we actually get a fraction right here. So we need to do a little bit more. Um, this one, I should say that this thing right here, it actually looks like 1 over the square root of x. And so we may need to put all that stuff together. OK, so what do we get here? Let's see. We have x to the fifth. That's in the numerator. Then there is also a x right here because you're squaring the square root. So you're going to get x to the sixth in the numerator. I think that would be enough, right? That fraction line should be long enough. Uh, x to the 6. Yeah, x to the 6 right here. And then we just got to do it really carefully because we're skipping a lot of steps right now when we put those things together. Yeah, so again, this is x to just x times x to the fifth. We get x to the 6. There was a 2 in the denominator, so I'm just going to put it in the front. There is this square root of x also in the denominator, so I'm going to put it here. So that's also in the denominator. And then we have all this stuff in the denominator, which is um, we take the fourth power of the square root of x. So we are going to get x squared. 
and then uh, the plus one is just the plus one. Okay, so that's it. And I don't think I miss anything, right? So this one is just copying. This one, x to the fifth, x to the first, x to the sixth, and then the minus sign, and then the one over two, the square root of x in the denominator, and then also this thing right here, even though there are no parentheses, but make sure that you put parentheses, right? Because that's part of this fraction here, and then the two, and then the square root of x is not part of this fraction. So when, when you put them together, you will need to put parentheses around this expression right here. So taking the fourth power of square root of x, we get x squared, and then we put the plus one. So that's it, yeah, so that's good. Okay, so that's the derivative of this function right here. And so if you like my video, please subscribe my channel, leave me a comment, give me a like, and then please also check out my other videos. Thank you for watching this one. I will